Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alex, if you didn't know. Uh, today, we're gonna be doing some denim eye makeup, if that makes any sense. This is the new um, Elf American Eagle collab. Dude, shout out to them because they always do like really creative collaborations, you know what I mean? Say what you will about Chipotle, but <laughs> I kind of love that they think outside the box. Anyway, I was like, I haven't really done any like of these navyish tones, so let's do it. So I'm gonna be priming with my also e.l.f. Sheer Eye Primer, which is one of my favorite drugstore eye primers. It's just like super affordable. It's nice and light, so it's, it's also sheer. So it adds like a little bit of cancellation to the lids, but nothing too crazy. Uh, it's just like, it's not incredibly opaque. I'm using my Refer 27 brush, which is a big fluffy brush. That was so rude. Text message, sorry. Um, okay, stop. What are you doing? Stop it. Anyway. You see what I'm doing. I basically went straight in to that gigantic space that I have between my lid and my brow. Uh, I just have been kind of feeling like I've been focusing on my lid recently and I have all this room going on up there. So I was like, you know what, screw it. I'm just gonna go in. I did have kind of a hard time blending, mostly because I didn't really take the um, eye primer all the way up to my brows and I was a little aggressive with my soap when I was setting my brows. Um, now I'm going in with whatever brush this was. I think it's the medium. I can't remember what it was. It's in the past now. It'll be linked down below. You know, you know the deal. Anyway, placing this all around my eyeball. So going back and forth, adding, building up the pigment all around my eyeball. This brush is so amazing for that. Um, and kind of keeping it separated from that initial brown shade to begin with. I don't want them to get super muddy. Uh, what is this? The medium... I wish I could remember. I'm just like staring at it, trying to remember. It doesn't matter, it's fantastic. Look at it go around my eyeball like that. It's so good. Blend, blend, blend. The cat's running around. Um, now I'm picking up indigo, I'm placing this on the outer corner of the eye and obviously just kind of like building this up a bit. So I want to build up like the smoke. I always end up going in a cat eye situation. I try to avoid it, I can't. This was, typical just like all of my looks where i'm like i don't actually know what i'm doing but i'm just gonna play and this is what ended up happening so now i'm kind of like filling the gap oh, okay <laughs> the cat does not want me to get any work done today i'm filling the gap geez between that dark blue and the brown that we initially went in with very very slowly because i didn't want it to get muddy and to be completely honest with you I was so haphazard with this because that's what happens when I'm just like messing around and being creative. Um, I highly recommend taking your time and not being so haphazard. I'm going with a medium sweeper brush. This is the E54, which is one of my faves and picking up this like neutral tone, which was very close to my skin tone. And I kind of loved that. I wanted the lid to almost look naked, but you had like this really beautiful shimmer that um, this shade allowed for. So it almost looks like it's uh, like a, what do you call that? When it's negative space, like negative space, it almost looked like that, but the shimmer just makes it look done. And I'm gonna be using this Lancome eyeliner, which is super creamy, dude. I need to use these more. Just on the very outer, oh God, that light, dude. I don't even wanna talk about it. it was ha I cut it out of most of this video, but it was happening like the whole time. I was pissed. Um, outer two thirds, outer third, outer, outer third of my lower lash line keeping it tight to the lash line, and then just blending with uh, my rougher, I can't read that, 28? I wanna say that's the 28 brush. Once again, it'll be linked down below. So kind of just like intensifying the cat eye situation. Um, trying to balance, balance some of that contrast, you know? But I did want, I mean, obviously everything is going on on the top. Picking up indigo with that same brush and just setting and building, um, setting that liner and then just like slowly building up that contrast so that it meets and makes sense with the upper dark blue. Lots of back and forth. I never make it easy for myself. I always make it more complicated, you know? I try to make it messy first and then fix it. I don't know why I do that. It's a horrible habit. Whatever, it's more fun that way. Now I'm picking up the light blue. I'm gonna buff just, just like between essentially the, uh, the naked part of my under eye, my inner corner and that dark blue. So just kind of like blending a little bit. Um, but I also, I want to keep that like pretty open, that inner corner. I did not want to take anything like too far in. Wow. The outside noises are like real fun, huh? 
Um, once again, tiny little brush, BK Beauty. I will link down below. I put this in my inner corner because I've been, dude, I've been avoiding highlight recently. I don't know what it means, but it means something. So I'm placing this in my inner, inner corner to do something. I don't know. You can't even really tell that it's the situation, but I thought it made a difference. These are the new 24 ink whatever, you just saw it, from uh, Urban Decay Eyeliners. So I'm going with the blue one, light blue one. And this was freeform as hell, dude. I was like, I don't even know. I just started kind of like drawing on my face. So I drew a little like inner corner extension that went uh, up a little bit on the inner corner of my upper lash line. And then I did a little wing from the outer corner that was like, pretty like up pretty high and I loved this dude I loved it so much I don't know what it is about it the fact that it's light and it kind of breaks up the um the dark colors that like go around my whole I just adds like a really nice like break between that eyeshadow uh rougher lash curler as always squeeze 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 pull 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 creepy eye look whatever whatever oh uh, I literally just tossed this out because I couldn't open it. I was like, why can I not open this? It was completely sealed shut. So I had to use a different mascara. <laughs> I got so frustrated. So Cleo always can rely on. I'm using the Kill Lash in Long Curling. Uh, one of my favorite waterproof mascaras. So just applying that after curling my lashes. I just had a huge coughing fit <laughs> that I obviously cut out because it was like really horrible, but now... I can't talk normally. That freaking light, dude. I need to contact them. This is ridiculous. It's a brand new light. I like just bought it. It's very frustrating. Oh yeah, I've been starting to go from like the top. I never do that, but like going from the top. Look at this. Oh, this is what I'm talking about, dude. I've had like a rough couple of days. I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> I was able to get rid of that though. It was fine. Anyway, I've been doing the top of my lashes recently. Um, and then the bottom. <laughs> Yeah, you just scrape it off. Oh, the light. Wow, the chaos that is this video. I don't even know why I'm uploading this, but I guess just to show you. I went in with a shimmer over that uh, taupe because I was like, you know what? This shit looks patchy and I didn't like it. So I thought I would just cover it up with some shimmer, which is a trick. That's a good trick. If you have patchy skin, you know, dry patchy skin. You could use a shimmer sometimes, like on your eyelids, if your eyelids are peeling. I actually have a video on that. Maybe I'll pop it up somewhere. Anyway, this is the finished look. I was having a lot of fun. I do kind of feel like this is good festival vibes. Coachella's coming up, you know. I get bored of festival makeup, so. Hope you enjoyed, uh, and I will see you soon.